friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a posterior subcapsular cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber and the spmc is applied over the cornea it improves visibility this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about same distance away and now capsular excess a capsular tag is being raised with the help of a 26 gauge bent needle now I hold this capsular tag with a uterator forceps go anti-clockwise and do a round rexis size of this rexis is about 5 millimeter or 5.25 millimeter and now hydro dissection BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim and see what happens BSS is passed hydro delineation is also attempted and the cataract is so soft I don't try to rotate the lens mass and now I introduce the tip of the FECO needle with its bevel down and just apply a vacuum and just by vacuum without any ultrasonic energy the whole thing comes out so we can call this is zero FECO no ultrasonic energy has been used and now this epinucleus and cortical matter is to be removed by the time my assistant is getting ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration I am using this instrument this is a 23 gauze Simcoe yes by this time bimanual irrigation aspiration is ready and now I introduce the irrigation from the right side, aspiration from the left, and remove this cortex. Now I use the irrigation and hydro polish the posterior capsule. Some lens fiber that is sticking to the posterior capsule are being dislodged by this maneuver and now 2% SPMC is injected again it fills off the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and this is IHANS from GNJ this is the first IHANS lens I'm going to implant it is claimed that this is uh, a nice lens with which will give clear distant vision and good intermediate vision uh, here goes the lens the lens is placed in the capsular bag the lens is rotated and
now the visco that has been used for implanting this eye well is being removed first time irrigating with a simco go behind the lens irrigate the capsular bag and thus most of the visco comes out only by irrigation And now again go behind the lens and aspirate. And now I'm going to use bimanual IA. This is the irrigation going through the main incision using only irrigation for some time. and then irrigation and aspiration together. Viscoelastic substance is removed thoroughly. This Ihans lens has overall diameter of 13 millimeter. Optic is 6 millimeter. It is claimed that it has extended depth of focus. It is not multifocal lens, it is a monofocal lens with extended depth of focus and thus the patient will see the intermediate objects quite clearly and the distant objects obviously more clearly. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. I injected air bubble in this case because the anterior chamber was becoming shallow. So to buy some time I injected the air bubble. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and then the integrity of the wounds are checked. Visco is applied and some moxie applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills